hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm just going to be showing you how i got this beyonce inspired hair this color was perfect this wig was perfect so let's jump right into it this video is just showing you what the wig looked like right out of the box um the color came just like this um the only thing i had to customize was the knots i did have to bleach those around three times and this is what it looks like after one round of bleaching so the brand is yolova and all of the information um will be in the description box on this wig and the brand um please check the description box before you ask any questions because i'm probably going to answer them all in the description box so the wig comes in the net it comes with a little bag to put the wig in it comes with some lashes um a pack of two wig caps the nude and it comes with some tweezers so to start off i am just tweezing the hairline i'm going to tweeze this wig a few different times just to make sure that it looks the way that i want it to look when you're tweezing you want to make sure you're like moving and not staying in one area because you don't want that in one area to be bald so I'm just kind of moving around and just kind of tweezing and looking at the hairline at the same time to see what it's looking like. So this is the comparison. That's the size I tweezed and then this is the side that I haven't touched yet. So huge difference already, but we're not done. So I think that I only bleached the knots twice and this was after the second time. So I'm just going to blow dry the hair and then flat iron it and kind of pre-style it before I put it on my head so here I'm just flat ironing the hair it was kind of puffy after blow drying it um but I put a little bit of like like a gloss on it and it did just fine so this is after straightening the hair it looks so good I was so excited this whole process okay so here comes the fun part i'm gonna put on this wig so i'm starting off with putting on the wig cap and i'm putting this um it's like an adhesive spray um i got this from my local beauty supply store and the girl at the front recommended this one she said a lot of people bought it and i actually really liked it um it kept my wig on all night but i actually had to work and like get it off like i had to wash it off of my head so it's pretty secure um along with the got to be gel the clear gel so this lace tint which i actually just realized was the same brand as the glue um i got this from target actually and they had two different colors so they have options one of them was a deeper brown so I'm just cutting off the excess wig cap and you want to be really careful with this. My shears were very sharp and the razor that I used to cut the lace was really sharp and I actually ended up like cutting my face. So be careful and take your time with this part. So here I am just measuring the lace and just making sure that the wig looks good with the cap. So here I just had to cut all the excess cap off. And now I'm going back in with the tweezers and just customizing it a little bit more. And I'm happy with that. So I'm going in with my powder. I'm pretty sure this is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC45. Um, so I'm just gonna use that and kind of blend the cap in with my skin and then I'm gonna use some of the lace tint as well. So 
So now I'm just kind of cutting the lace in sections so that it's easier for me to lay it down when I put the glue or the gel on there. And now I'm just cutting like the ear parts. <laughs> I'm cutting it so that it fits around my ear comfortably. So now I'm going in with the got to be clear gel and it's at the black tube and I'm just going to spread it around the cap so that I can lay the wig. I also spray a little bit more of the adhesive. And then I use my blow dryer to kind of just make it tacky and let it dry a little bit. And then it's time to lay her down. This is the part I've been waiting for all day. So I'm just going to place it where it needs to be. <laughs> um, and then just make sure that it's sticking, making sure that the hair is not sticking on the hairline as much as possible. And just making sure that it's even. So now I'm putting the elastic band around the edges just so that it melts the lace a little bit more. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that on there for about 10 minutes or so. Um, and I did get the best footage of me trying to cut this lace off, but this is where I like cut my face. So like, just be really careful um, I cut off as much as I could and then I just kind of peeled it back and kept cutting little by little so that it was as close to the hair as possible. So here you can see me, I'm just kind of like peeling it just little by little and like getting that. So now um, I put the elastic band back on there just so it can melt a little bit more. And then now I'm just gonna do the layers. So I'm just kind of grabbing equal sections from either side and then I'm just using that same razor and just razoring it off. <laughs> So I'm really happy with how it's looking. Now I just wanna kinda do some baby hairs, which I actually didn't do a whole lot of baby hairs, um, but I just wanted the option. So <laughs> I am going in and just sectioning off that front section and I'm just gonna like razor them off. I'm gonna tweeze them first because I don't want them super thick. Uh, I want them to be like a natural baby hair, so. I'm gonna go in and tweeze and then I'm gonna razor them.
So I actually didn't get very good footage of me like curling my hair either. I just kind of bumped the ends. Um, and I actually went, my friend like trimmed it a little bit more and he bumped it some more. So it looked different in the, the final, final look. Um, but this is what I did. Um, and I am pretty happy with this hair. Like it is a very beginner friendly like wig. It looks very good. This is my first time like attempting a style like this with a like a lace front. So I'm pretty impressed. Um, this is 22 inches. The density is 180. Um, so I think it's perfect. It looks very natural on me. Um, I'm not used to wearing straight hair, so this was very different, but I loved it. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to check the description box for all of the details, and I'll see you next time.